Well, it's time for verifying as federal regulators decide this week whether to grant the first approval of a COVID-19 vaccine in the United States. Stories are swirling on the Internet about the safety and potential side effects of the vaccine. The stories, some of them promoted by anti-vaccine anti websites and COVID-19 conspiracy blogs, are raising concerns and apprehension about a vaccine that could be distributed to thousands of hospitals, clinics, and nursing homes within the next few weeks. One post suggested that the vaccine could cause infertility in women. So is that true? The researcher mentioned in the post no longer works for Pfizer. Michael Yeadon said he worked for the company until 2011 in the Allergy and Respiratory Research Unit, according to the British doctor's LinkedIn profile. Now, while the social media post implies the vaccine will cause infertility, that's not exactly what the doctor said in their EMA filing. Their petition raises questions about whether infertility might be possible using phrases like if the vaccine works a certain way, it could lead to infertility. So is that a real possibility? Our researchers reached out directly to Pfizer to get answers. Here's what they said in a statement to our sister station WTHR. There is no data to suggest that Pfizer BioNTech vaccine candidate causes infertility. It has been incorrectly suggested that COVID-19 vaccines will cause infertility because of a very short amino acid sequence in the spike protein of SARS-CoV-2 virus that is shared with the placental protein. The sequence, however, is too short for shared amino acids to plausibly give rise to autoimmunity. Additionally, a cohort comparing the outcomes of pregnancies with and without intercurrent SARS-CoV-2 infection shows no difference in outcomes, further debunking the theory." End quote. Last month, in a press release, Pfizer also said its COVID-19 vaccine studies have so far not reported any serious safety concerns. Okay, a lot of uh, medical terms there, but here's the deal. Right now, with the data we have, we can verify that to date, there is no evidence, no study, and no reports to support that claim. At the same time, it is fair to point out the vaccine is so new, there are no studies to demonstrate the long-term impacts on human fertility. But as for right now, there's no veracity to that claim. Hey, remember, if you've got something about the vaccine that you're wondering about, maybe someone has shared it on your social media feeds and you're wondering if it's true or not, send it my way before you share it. Of course, misinformation uh, is always dangerous at a time like this. I'm on Facebook and Twitter, or you can send me an email, crogers2 at kcentv.com.